Hello guys and welcome to my first 5 minute Metasys tutorial. And today I will be showing you how to create a change of state trend or something called change of value, COB. And these trends are commonly used on binary points. For example, this exhaust fan star stop, whenever it changes state, it will record the trend as you see on the picture. So if I go to my table mode, you can see that it records at a random times and that's exactly when it changes state. Okay, so let's start by creating our first trend. So I'm gonna right click on a binary point, show extensions. I'm gonna go to trend, new. I'm gonna go next and I can give it a name. I usually do COS for change of state or COB for change of value. Enable true, you know you want to enable your trend. You, you can define a start and a stop time uh, for uh, recording your trends if, if you wanna do a range. Uh, this I rarely use this. And the next setting is the buffer size. So this is this is a key uh, setting. So basically how much it will record, how many trends. Let's say I want to record 50 samples. And you can also choose if you want to stop recording when it, when it reaches those 50 samples, which I usually don't, don't do that. And the key, the key, the key setting is the sample interval. So this is how often is you're gonna record your trend. So 600 seconds is the default, which is every 10 minutes. So if we want to do a change of state or change of value, uh, I just simply put a zero. For client COB increment, I use that for analog value. So we're gonna skip that. And repository storage, that's if you want your trends to send, to be sent out to the uh, server, if you have a server. So let's say I can enable it. And when is gonna be the transfer set point? Um, let, that, this number should be le equal or less than my buffer size. So let's say that uh, we, we have reached 40 samples. So after 40 samples uh, recorded, which is below 50, uh, it will transfer uh, the, the trends to the server. And then we go next and just confirm the values. And our trend was created, we just click done. And now to see our trend, we just double, we just double click at our point. And you can see that a new tab will appear here. And right now we have a stop command. And you can, say, you can see that it just recorded one uh, piece of data or one sample. This is exactly when I created the trend. So since it's a, a change of value, you only expect two values, stop and start. And stop is zero and start is one. So let's command this point to start. Just gonna right click command start, send. And sometimes you gotta click over here to refresh. So you can see that it, it got changed to one. And actually I can right click, I can uh, show grid lines and go to Y axis so uh, I can see those grid lines. And let's command this back to stop so you can see that every time it changes state it will record the trend. So stop pretty soon, stop then refresh and there you go. Uh, we can also see it in table mode and you can see that it's been recording. And if you wanna copy your trend data and paste it into Notepad or a, a spreadsheet, you can just click copy and it, it, it'll copy it. And if you wanna modify, you can go to this little book and you can just hit edit and you can modify a few of the things. Uh, if you just go to advance, but you cannot change the buffer size, but you can change the interval. So there are a few things that you can change and you cannot. Also, if you decide uh, to create a new trend on the same point, you can do it. You can just uh, click on new and follow the same process. Next, you can do um, interval if you want, not a COB and go next, finish. And there you go. You have two trends right now. And this is gonna record every 600 seconds, which is every 10 minutes. And that's it. That's my Metasys five minutes tutorial on change of state trends. If you like this new quick format, please comment below and let me know if you would like me to do more videos like this. Also, please like the video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.